Hey everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic and our Season of Mastery Shaman playthrough. We are again starting off outside of Thunder Bluff today. We're going to make our way down to the southwest. I did go to Thunder Bluff to turn in the leatherworking quest that we had, and from that we got the ability to make a six-slot Kodo hide bag. Unfortunately, we need thin Kodo hide, which we don't have any of yet. Uh, but we did get our leather working up to 45, which enabled me to make this piece. Plus two stamina on the chest. And I think the pants are new as well. But yeah, that's what we have for leather working now. That's the belt that's new. And yeah, that that is where we're at. Uh, we worked on some first aid and got heavy linen bandage now so that will help us out a lot uh that being said let's get going here to the south i want to do this quest first because it's a level eight quest and it's already green and then we have to do the uh, cleansing of the water well because that is also green so we're going to take care of those lower level quest first I don't think there's any chance that we could lose them or outlevel them really, um, but I, I suppose we could. If we got to like level 13 and we still hadn't done them, then we might not get the full experience for them. Uh, this is a harpy area. Let's go a little bit further south of this. And hey, look at that. We leveled up just by discovering the Baldoon dig site. Uh, which means I have a couple of points to spend here. We're going to spread these around a little bit and kind of just bounce back and forth until we've got all 10 and then we're going to go right down into the third tier. It's a little bit of an unorthodox way to do things I realize but that is how I'm going to do it. Yeah, I never really knew that there were dwarves just kind of hanging out here. We did get the prospector's pick. Is that... Oh, we need to break these. Okay, right click near a forge to break it. Do we need to go back here to use one of their forges? That's kind of my question. Also, pretty weird that we got the item right away. Oh, hi. Well... Uh, they both tried to heal. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't happen. Uh, we shocked that heal as well. Uh, we could get overwhelmed here pretty quickly. We want to be careful. Okay. Everything worked out. So I think the how this works is we need to break five of these. So we have two right now. Uh, some potions we can put on our hot bar just in case we run into any unexpected trouble that we can't or don't want to waste mana to heal through. Ah, oh, he got the heal off. Okay, so we can't use any shocks on these guys and, until we... Until they get the heal. That's a... Quite an operation they've been able to set up here. Right under the Torrens' noses. Really close to Thunderbluff. 
uh, for something like this to be going on. I'm really, uh, I'm not seeing any forges or anywhere we could break these things. I'm going to take a look at the quest at a forge. Any forge? You can smash the tools at a forge. You will find one in Thunderpluff, uh, but any forge will do. Okay, so it insinuates that they have a forge here somewhere. I don't see it. Yeah, I mean, if you guys see a forge, go ahead and uh, call me out after this. Oh no, wait, there it is. Okay, we can we can get back here. It helps that we're level eleven and these guys are a lower level than us. Uh, that was bad. That was a bad idea. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, we're gonna have a really bad time here. We're gonna have a really really bad time. Okay, yeah, they're gonna cross heal. They're gonna cross heal us into the ground, so like no matter what we do, are we gonna be able to stop them from healing? Okay, who's who's next? Let's use the potion. That didn't do a lot. Uh, again, we missed the interrupt. We're gonna miss the interrupt again. Yeah, this is uh this is not good. This is not good. Okay. We're running now. Probably a little bit too close. We should have got out of there a lot sooner. We could have handled those guys with no problem. If they hadn't been just crossing each other, it would have been fine. Um, Might have wanted to lay down a stone claw totem instead of the stone skin totem. That could have helped. But again, us taking damage was not the problem. Uh, the, the problem was them healing each other. But okay, let's get back in here and see if we can get to the forge. Now, we did kill about two of them. Three, maybe. No, just two. Uh, which should make things a little bit easier, obviously. And there we go, all of the tools are broken. Perfect. Okay, now we can head uh, out of here. Uh, we're not gonna fight anybody else. And we're gonna swing all the way up to the north. We're gonna finish getting the feathers that we need from the harpies there.
And we have a couple of more things to do in the north as well. We have to find prowlers, which are, I believe, a different kind of cougar. And then we have to hunt Arashe. Uh, we, we have his path, so I'm hoping that we'll make it a lot easier. The other time in recent memory that I, I came through Mulgore was on a druid. Yeah, we tried to level the druid. It didn't get really far, but it did get into the barrens. But the interesting thing is, I didn't do hardly any of these quests, I feel like. <laughs> there were so many quests here that we just didn't do. Uh, that we might have had an easier time in the barrens had we stuck around here, known about all the quests, and leveled up a bit more. But I remember the barrens being a pretty big challenge on an underleveled druid. Just being in bear form and not really being able to do a whole lot. Uh, kind of sunk that experience for me. I don't really like being in shape-shifted forms anyway. It's not really my favorite thing. I like to be able to see my character and the armor that they have equipped. Don't tell me you have a heal too. Did this thing just heal? Do they have a heal? I'm pretty sure he just healed. Lots of enemies with heals if that's the case. Okay, so these guys are level 11. A little bit more of a challenge for us. We probably need to be a little bit more careful out here. There's the heal. Let's shock that. Okay, so we are doing the same thing we were doing with the dwarves. We need to wait until they start casting their heal before we do any shocks. That's fine. We're going to do two lightning bolts, and then we're going to rely on lightning shield. And, of course, our auto attacks. Uh, which would be aided by Flame Tongue Weapon if we can manage to keep that up. And yeah, unfortunately, they're they're both casters. It's just two different types of casters. Now I do need to keep an eye on my health, just because our mana is fine doesn't mean our health is fine, so... That's a real thing. Let's go ahead and get a bandage going. Yeah, the bandages already aren't doing a lot. I'm glad that we can make the heavy ones now. Uh, we don't have any made currently. 
So we're gonna eat. I also keep forgetting to buy water because I am just that special. Uh, but we found a way to be pretty conservative here, so I don't think mana is really an issue right now. We'll do two lightning bolts and a lightning shield, rely on melee attacks, and we're having a pretty easy time of things, so... No reason to change that right now. Okay, that's six out of six for the bronze feathers, so now we only need the blue harpies. We'll try to just focus on those. And there we go, we are done with Harpies. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go to the north and we'll wrap around the northern side of Thunder Bluff. And supposedly somewhere back there, we're gonna come across some Flatland Cougars or something, Prowlers, I think they called them. Flatland Prowlers. And yep, here they are, just as promised. Oh, that reminds me, the other thing that happened while I was doing some skinning and I was around Thunder Bluff, actually right down here in this area, uh, I came across, let's see if I can find it.
Uh, well, I don't really know what happened to it. Maybe I'd already turned in the quest. I came across a rare wolf that had a quest. Here we go, the Demon Scarred Cloak. So yeah, I ran into Ghost Howl, fought and killed him. That was the, the quest that we were seeing, that it said that there was a quest to pick up. Well, there is, but you have to fight the Ghost Howl enemy, loot him, and then use the cloak to start the quest. So we did that, and once we turn this in, we're going to get a main hand upgrade, which is pretty great. Uh, training Sword of the Whale, but our inventory is full. Uh, that will vendor for more than other things, so let's take a look here. What do we want to drop? Uh, the Ruffled Feather, and then that makes me... Well, it makes me hesitant to continue being out here. I think we can get to another lift into Thunder Bluff around the back side here. Maybe if we find that second lift, we'll just go up really quick and sell stuff. And come back down. I thought we were going to be able to make those bags pretty expediently upon learning the recipe. It was why I held off on just purchasing another bag. Now that that's not the case, uh, I'm going to buy two more bags. Like, immediately. Uh, we're gonna go see what's going on over here. There's a little goblin town or something. I think I've seen this before, but I don't remember what quest we might do there, if any quest. Just some venture company workers. Maybe this was another place uh, we could have fought workers and supervisors, like how we went into the mine. Obviously, in the mine, we also found that additional quest item, which we would not have found out here. Uh, but it does seem just like a little goblin town popping up. They have more, like, established buildings than many of our questing hubs have. So, <laughs> good for them. Uh, they might want to come down from Thunder Bluff and deal with this. I, I wouldn't let that happen. Not if they truly are the enemy, um, and they are venture company, so they are the enemy in this case. Possible that I'm making up the backside entrance to Thunder Bluff. Oh no, wait, it's up here. Okay, yeah, we can get up here. Uh, we're gonna do that. Let's pull this last prowler from over here. Uh, maybe we go down and get this one too. Yeah, inventory's full. It's it's bad. It's really bad. Mm, you know what I could do? Well, that's not going to help us too much. Uh, let's eat the bread. There we go. Okay. Yeah, let's let's go up and find a vendor and vendor everything. Uh, if we can find a bags vendor, that's weird. I was looking more for a general goods vendor because they would have bags. I'm assuming this will track general goods vendors. Well, it says there's a bag vendor literally right here. Basket Weaver. 
Yeah, they, this is a says they're a basket weaver. I, I mean, I understand that baskets are containers. But yeah, he sells bags, so that's good. Uh, we're gonna vendor this. I know. Use the auction house, Robert. Nothing sells on the auction house. I would probably get like five silver for it. And so many wet items seem to drop that I just think people have not really needed to go to the auction house at low levels. Also, who has money for the auction house at low levels? Not really anybody, unless you're rolling an alt. And if you're rolling an alt, you probably have a lot of items saved up, because like I said, so many greens drop. Uh, that if you're planning a same faction alt, it's probably just a good idea to set aside all of your greens. And see what you might need in the future, because they honestly don't sell for a lot. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and bite the bullet here. We're gonna grab two more six-slot bags. And yeah, there we go. Hopefully that will help us out. Anything else that we can get rid of? Not really. And yeah, that was relatively painless. Now we can just go back down. Pretty convenient, if you ask me. Thinking about all the stuff that I've gotten to see here in Mulgor that I've never seen before, I am genuinely excited to explore other zones, to get into places like the Barrens, and yeah, it's kind of like a whole new experience. Um, and I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are probably shaking your heads because a lot of you guys were urging me to use Questy for a long time. And like, here's the thing, yes, Questy has like greatly improved my experience in Classic, but it's improved my experience because I played for so long without it. And yeah, I mean, I've never used a questing add-on until now. So yeah, I, I played a lot without it. And I think playing so much without it, and now, you know, playing with it, I, I think that's, you know, one of the reasons why it's so impactful to me. Because, you know, I spent... 15 years exploring the lands of Azeroth and now knowing that there's a lot that I just missed, a lot that you're gonna miss if you're not following a guide, if you're not in the know or you're not using an add-on. So many quests kind of slip away and also so many areas where you can go to complete quests. Like areas like this mine that I've never been in, areas down here where we're fighting dwarves that I don't really ever remember fighting. Uh, it just kind of opens up a lot of possibilities I think. Okay, let's see. We we still need to, we need to make sure we're actually getting all these because uh, the drop rate's kind of low and the spawn rate uh, it's pretty decent, but they're spread out. I think I have scrolling combat text on. Yeah, I'm going to turn this off. Uh, if you guys like this, I can turn it back on. I just noticed we had like the damage numbers scrolling. Do you guys like that or not? I'll leave it on for now. And if you guys have a preference for it being off or on, let me know. I like to have it on in dungeons, so I probably turned it on the last time I did a dungeon on the warrior. But if it, if it kind of interferes with immersion, I, I'll turn it off. I don't know why I just noticed it now. obviously been on all along.
Uh, I guess we should just kind of make our way back to the south. We do need to head south eventually. I did mean to go over to the well and then totally forgot, but we will just kind of swoop down on our way back to town and take care of that. And we'll hope that we can find uh, some more cougars, although right now it seems like just wolves are up. How far can we go? Yeah, we, we should be able to find them even if we head all the way down here. Um, just wow. I mean, we have the same shield. This one has strength and spirit on it as opposed to stamina. This one we're going to hold on to. Maybe we will toss this on the auction house just because it's a really good low level shield. Maybe it'll sell. I mean, you know, you probably say, you know, Robert, even if it doesn't sell for a lot, you should still put it on the auction house and take part in the uh, economy. That's probably true. Probably true, but again, with it being a seasonal model, how much I care about getting into the economics side of things, uh, it's pretty limited. Pretty limited to just getting my first mount. I don't really feel a need to save for epic riding. I, I just, I want to get my mount, and that's really all I need coin for. Pretty happy about how mana efficient we've been able to be. Now obviously part of that is because we are coming up against enemies that are a little bit lower level than us. But if we're careful and if we're doing all the quests we find, that should really always be the case. We should always be able to be doing quests where the guys are one or two levels beneath us. And yeah, that just works best, honestly. Kind of hard to believe we haven't gotten this item yet. It's uh, it's quite a drop rate it has. Hey, there we go. Okay, four out of four, and now all we really have to do is head back to the south. We're going to make a stop at the, I think it's the Winterhoof Cleansing Well. All right, we're going to deal with you first, apparently.
Got a little ways to run here. And we'll kind of fight some things on the way. Yes, I am walking backwards to continue towards our destination while I fight. That's happening. Oh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> okay, I need to pay more attention. We need to make sure that we are buying our next ranks because I am wasting skins. I am skinning and skinning, and guys, we're not getting any skill ups for it. So, yeah, we need to, uh, we need to head back and sort that out. I don't think I'm going to deal with anything else in that case because, yeah, I, I don't want to waste... I mean, it's not a waste because we're getting the materials for it, right, to do to use for leatherworking, but it's a waste in the sense that what we really wanted to do is just to train the next rank of leatherworking so we can keep getting points towards the next rank of leatherworking, etc. You don't want to be capped out on a skill level uh, and just sitting there still trying to gather the resource. Don't mind us. Just cleansing the well you guys poisoned. Uh, we didn't get Arashea, that's right. Uh, we do need to do that. We're going to be back up at Thunder Bluff anyway. Uh, to turn some things in, so when we do that, then we will hunt Arashea. Didn't, we didn't just happen to run into him while we were up there, so we will have to follow that little path and see. Like, on the druid, I don't think I ever found him. Don't think I ever found him. Just a bunch of shaman hanging out in the zone. And one druid. Uh, let's do this. We don't need to track the bag vendor anymore. There we go. Uh, we can come over here and we can buy the next rank of leather working. Also, probably empty our bags out again. How may I aid you? It's really about all that we have that we can stand to get rid of. Okay, journeyman skinning. There we go. That is better. Peace, friend. Here is the demon scarred cloak that we got off of the ghost wolf. 
I can barely believe my old eyes you defeated the great ghost howl. I look upon you with new respect, young shaman. You are a hunter of extreme skills. Let me offer you something. My days of hunting are over, but I would be honored if you used one of my weapons in your hunts. May it strike true and bring you renown. Be careful. We will take that. That's awesome. Pretty big damage increase there. And yeah, that's what it looks like. A green weapon and a green shield. What did we do to be so lucky? Well met. Uh, we'll take the legs. We don't need them. Maybe we take the mail to sell it. Walk with the Earth Mother. Not sure why I always look in the tent for this guy first. That's been pretty consistent. There is but one water well left to cleanse, named after the Wild Mane clan. For this well to be pure, the land must offer the teeth of a fierce predator, the Prairie Wolf Alpha. Find the Alphas to the north, then return to me when your hunt is finished. Okay, yeah, we're going. We could go to the north, or we could go to the east, apparently. That's good to know. Uh, we're gonna go to the north because we need to find, we need to find Arashe. And actually, I'm gonna take us out there. We we just did the run back, so uh, let's take a look. Our bags are good. I think everything is pretty decent. I'm gonna run us back out that way, and we'll start looking for Arashe, and we'll get the wolves that we need. All right, we are in Prairie Wolf Country up here, and then we're gonna. Also have to hunt down Arashea along his winding path. Uh, now for this one, we need a bunch of teeth from these guys, and it seems like the drop rate is going to be exactly as bad as the Flatland Prowler. So if this if this turns into like a really long, long slog of just fighting the same enemy type, I, I might wrap this one up on my own. Uh, but we are going to go a little bit further north and see if we can find this, this named Kodo. Hey, there's one. I mean, even with this path, there's <laughs> there's really no way uh, for us to know if we're going to find him for sure. And as I say that, he appears ahead of me. <clears throat> I love it. <laughs> it's so perfect. Okay, he moves really slow. So yeah, I guess even if... What I was thinking was like, what if he was back here moving this way and we were just ahead of him? How would we ever find him? I guess he moves slow enough that you could potentially lap him eventually uh but yeah here he is this will be the first time i have found him uh thank you questy for that we can't take any actual credit although we did just kind of stumble into him so
Might want to uh, focus on this one a little bit, I guess. He seems like he's a little buff. And there we go, there's the Horn of Arashe. And a few of these have to go back to Thunder Bluff, so that's where we will be headed. I'm going to hang out here for a little bit. And get some more of these wolves done. And then after that, I'm going to go to Thunder Bluff and turn everything in and see where that leaves us. I think once everything is turned in, we're going to be level 13. I don't really know how much left there is for us to do here. Yeah, we really... I mean, we're gonna have at least one more cleanse of the well quest, right? Where we, we turn this one in, and then he's gonna tell us to go to a well and cleanse it. So that's at least one more quest after this. Uh, beyond that, we may be just about headed into the Barrens, so that's pretty exciting. We can start work on... When we get to the Barrens, guys, and we get to the crossroads, I will prioritize getting our fire totem. That'll be the first thing we do. I just don't want to run all the way over there now. You know, we could have ran over there, got the flight point at Orgrimmar, and flew back. There's a couple of different ways you could do it. Um, but I just didn't feel like running over there. We're going to be over there soon enough. And I don't think having the fire totem right now is going to drastically change anything for us. We're not exactly having a hard time of combat or anything like that where I feel that it's much needed. If I can avoid selling it, we'll have a lot of stringy meat to turn into food to level up our cooking. Haven't leveled up fishing yet. Haven't <laughs> haven't found the time to sit there and click the thing mindlessly. That that just it it appeals to me so very little. Running around and killing stuff for like skin or for meat, I enjoy that because it's pressing the buttons of my class. And I enjoy pressing the buttons of my class in World of Warcraft. I just can't get into the fishing, guys. I just can't get into it. It doesn't mean that I'm like discarding the idea right now. It doesn't mean that. I'm just I'm telling you that I've I've tried it. We got caught a few fish and then I couldn't keep doing it then. Uh, we'll give it a few more shots.
I want to head up here and reveal whatever this is on the map. We, we haven't come up here far enough to get a map reveal yet. Uh, so let's do that. Will we find any wolves on the way? Well, there are a couple over here. Not really the direction that we were headed, but there's three of them, so we can't pass them by. Hey, there's our buddy Arashea again. <laughs> Apparently, if you just quest in this area for long enough, you'll just see him multiple times. I remember looking for him on our druid for quite some time, and I don't think we ever, ever found him. One more tooth to go. One more to go. Will we find any if we finish our plan and come to the north here? I'm hoping we'll find a couple of wolves. Uh, enough to get one more item, if we're lucky. And hey, there we go. Uh, we didn't reveal this area on the map, but maybe something else will send us up there. Maybe the last well will be up here. Actually, the last well is probably going to be right over here. Uh, that's the wild main well. It doesn't really look like there's anything going on back there uh, for it to warrant its own section of the map. And I'm not even sure like what landmark would we use to reveal it. Maybe it's the harpy nest that we see back there. Let's come up here and just find out. Wind Fury Ridge. Yeah, there we go. Alright, the map is all the way filled in and I feel a lot better with that. We're going to run over to Thunder Bluff first and get things turned in there. And then we'll be able to hearth back to Bloodhoof Village and turn in the Wild Main Totem. That will give us the follow-up to come all the way back out here. Over to this well that we can see in the distance. And yeah, I, I think after that we're going to be done here. We have a log full of completed quests. We have at least one breadcrumb taking us into the barrens. And I'm sure we'll get at least one more. 
Our Rage Fire Chasm quests are now orange, telling us that we're getting closer and closer, guys, to being able to run that dungeon. Uh, I think we're going to try to heal that at uh, level 15. If I'm looking here, yeah, we can't can't look for anything yet as far as dungeons go. So around level 15, we will be doing some Rage Fire. You know, I, I'd like to do multiple runs of the dungeons, especially some of the Horde side ones. I, I like them a lot. They're pretty straightforward, but still interesting. The only exception is kind of like Wailing Caverns, although honestly, after like recent Lower Black Rock Spire runs and BRD runs, Wailing Caverns is seeming like a lot more digestible to me. And I'm pretty sure we can find our way through there without too much of a problem. Black Fathom Deeps, looking forward to doing that one as well. But yeah, I think we're going to have a lot of good times hopefully healing uh, dungeons on this character. I mean, we could DPS too. I'm not a big DPSer, but I mean, I can get the job done in a leveling dungeon for sure. Uh, but I'd rather heal if we can do that. Let's go see what this quest is over here. Looks like it might be another profession quest. Oh, hi there. What brings you here? Oh, donation of wool. Yeah, we don't have... And I wish I could select, like, certain quests on the minimap and tell it not to show that one anymore, you know what I mean? Like, just a specific quest. Like, I want to tell this one to turn that off so I don't keep looking at it. Is there a way to make Questy do that? Can I highlight or interact with an individual quest and say, hey, yeah, stop tracking that, please? Uh, because that is what I would like to do. Well done, a fine kill that was. I will send a gathering party to collect the carcass so we can retrieve the hide and the meat. And man, we got a pretty huge upgrade for that. Totally worth it. Oh man. Four agility and 61 armor, making the pants that we've just made ourselves obsolete pretty quickly. And we also hit level 13. Let's take a look at our talents. We're going to go over here now. Uh, and can I access the other rise from here? I think I can. And guys, all we're going to be doing for the rest of this one is running around and getting these quests turned in and picking up any follow-ups and then hurting back to Bloodhoof Village. So if you don't want to stick around for all that, I, I definitely understand your time is valuable. Scorn White Cloud is a wise tauren. He has hunted for years and years, and although his body is old, his spirit burns fiercely. We are honored to have him with us. If Scorn sent you to me, then you too must have the hunter's spirit. And, and to have gathered these claws shows your burgeoning skills. You know, someone had a burgeoning vocabulary when they wrote that one. If you wish to walk the hunter's path, then your journey leads to the barrens. Its beasts are strong-willed and fierce. You will learn much by hunting there, and your spirit will grow. Speak with Sergra Darkthorn. She will be your first guide in the barrens. Sergra's at the crossroads. To reach her, travel east from Bloodhoof Village into the barrens, then north. Yep. Ancestors. We can figure that much out. You know, now look at this. There's a quest here that Questy does not show us. Horde Warbringer. Ah, uh, Battle for Warsong Gulch. I mean, maybe. We haven't done any we haven't done any PvP. <laughs> we have not done any PvP. I'm not a big PvPer. Um I've had like bouts of PvPing here and there. It, at the tail end of Burning Crusade, a friend of mine and myself did some PvP. He was on a rogue, I was on a warrior. Uh, my, my Tauren warrior, actually, my original character. And that was fun. It was fun to do it, like, the battlegrounds just with the two of us hanging out. Uh, I never felt really good at it. 
Other games, uh, Wild Hammer. Wild Hammer. Uh, what was Wild Star? <laughs> Wild Star. I tried to get into PvP there. It was a little bit more interesting. I never felt good at it again. And yeah, I've just I've tried to get into PvP a couple of times. Uh, but in MMOs, I, I'm not much of a PvPer. Uh, I liked Heroes of the Storm a lot. As far as like you know, we're talking about PvP. Heroes of the Storm was a lot of fun. Uh, it's too bad that's a dead game. Otherwise, I would probably still play the crap out of it. Uh, until death do us part. The donation of wool. Th did this just pop up when we hit 13? And see, the thing about Questy is now that I have all these markers telling me where quests are, sometimes I literally have to go see what they are. Um, which is good and bad. Place Clarice's pendant on Yereve's tomb in Silver Pine. Oh, yeah, I don't know... I don't know if we're going to Silver Pine. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to Silver Pine. I think we're going to do a Baron's playthrough, and I think that the way we level up faster, especially grabbing all the quests that are available, I don't think we're going to have to zone hop. I don't think I'm going to zone hop. Uh, if we ever see Silver Pine, it, it'll be on an undead character, because we'll be going um, from Tears Fall Glades into Silver Pine. But I'm pretty sure we're going to the Barrens, and then we'll likely go up into Ashenvale. Uh, I've been Your cleansing of the Winterhoof and Thunderhorn Wells is spoken among the spirits. The Wildmane Totem is made, and your last task lies ahead. The Wildmane Waterwell lies to the north. Yep, we know exactly where it is at. And yeah, guys, that's going to be the last thing that we have to do here, actually. So, good times. Uh, we can already see lots of quests popping up on our map for the Barons. Uh, a lot of it level 10 through level 15 from what I can see here. And us being level 13, that's probably a good time to go. We have up to level 20 quests over in Ratchet and Tarajo. Tarajo has a couple of quests at low level, but it seems like some of the stuff is more geared for higher levels. Uh, so yeah, the plan is finish the water well thing, and then I'm going to get us over into the Barrens, guys. So let me know what you think. As always, I greatly appreciate you all spending your time here with me today. I, I can't say enough how much the support means to me. So thank you so much. And as always, take care of yourselves out there in the real world and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth sometime soon. Bye now.